What assumptions do you make when you meet a Jewish person? Are they based more on media, your parents, or just unreliable sources? This is how I win. As you play along this episode of Odd Man Out, think of how you pick the mold. We brought together seven Jewish people. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. I am Jewish. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. One of them is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd man out? All right, well, who's the mole? I'm just going to ask you right now. Who is it? Who is it? Come on. Okay, where have all your families been expelled from? Can we just, like, get into that, like, real quick? Every Jew has a story about being forcibly taken from their home. My family got expelled from Russia, early 1900s, moved to New York. Are you Ashkenazi? Yeah. Okay. Versus? God, I can never remember the other one. Sephardic. It's not oh, yeah. Really? Interesting. Okay. okay. I actually converted. Uh, my mom is from the Philippines, my dad is from Mississippi. Why did you convert? My mom put me into it when I was really young, when I was like six or seven, so I just always grew up with it. So I didn't really feel like I converted. My family is Polish. I am half Jewish, so my mom, through birth, I am Jewish. Okay. My dad is Christian. Um, my Safta was expelled from Turkey, and my Saba was from Bulgaria. Good and words, then, good words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think everyone here knows Hebrew. Yeah. 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 Does anyone else know Hebrew? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that means grandma and grandpa. Do you, yeah. know, well, like, do you know fluently? Do you yeah, know yeah. So, like, okay, my mom's Israeli. So. Okay, yeah, same. Do you guys, um, like, know all the holidays? Everyone was throwing out questions and answers, and it was just tough to get your, your piece in. Um, but I was definitely worried that I would just be voted off just because I may not look Jewish. What's like the highest holi holiday? Oh, Yom Kippur. Like, uh, Yom Kippur. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yom Kippur Rosh Hashanah. Yeah. If someone said Hanukkah, I was like, done. <laughs> Anyone go to Jewish school? I went to Jewish preschool, elementary school, and high school mm. and learned Hebrew in all of them. Uh. So I'm very Jewish. Can you start reciting like That's the first bad. prayer of Hanukkah? Like the first uh, word? Baruch Atah Adonai. I mean, I know it's not the first word, it just flows better this way. Yeah, I was like, that wasn't really the first word, but... He said his prayer really fast, and it didn't sound like 100% to me. What's the prayer, just like the two words for, like, washing your hands before okay, you yeah. eat? No? No, I don't know it. Yeah, right? so yeah. I got you. I try, I, I, <laughs> quick question, because this will eliminate real Jews real quick. Does anyone know what Jewish penicillin is? Matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, there it is. She didn't know what it is right there. It was a little unclear where he was from and why he was telling us like certain things. Anyone keep kosher? I don't. No. But no. I don't eat pork. I mean, kind of. Okay. Yeah, no I'm pork. Vegan, so like, yeah, I'm vegan. Yeah, I'm vegan. Yeah. <laughs> like, my I'm mom is so <laughs> proud. Can you eat, my girl's can kosher. You eat kala? <laughs> I'm still like, stuck on the point that you drove here for this. I'm sorry. She said he drove here for this. Oh. I'm just... I want an excuse oh. to come to down to LA. Video, yeah. 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 I, 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 like, took a plane from well, Seattle. You flew here? Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, I also just, like, wanted to eat at, like, a bunch of vegan places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and that's yeah. Right? We just want an excuse to come to LA. Yeah. I was very comfortable with the girls. For some reason, the guys gave me a bit of pause. People always kind of had weird looks because I'm only half Jewish. So growing up, you know, I was in a very like Christian environment. I mean, that was the main thing is when we were, you know, getting pulled out for the high holidays, everybody just kind of was like, why do you get to leave? Like stuff like that. That's the only time it really came up for me. All right, so this time the voting is going to be different. We are going to have a secret ballot, but it's going to be open voting. Bye. 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 <laughs> I have a very Jewish name. I have a very Jewish face. Not something that I expected to be voted out the first time. I definitely was expecting to be able to keep playing the rest of the game. Adam was my first pick, oh, but I wanted yeah. to go here just to just be sure. Okay. So tell me why you're Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> it's harder because, you know, I am just Jewish through my mom and there wasn't a big Jewish community where Actually, I grew up. Actually, like Jewish through your mom rabbinically it's, is like full Jew. Through no, no, Jewish religion I mean, makes yeah, you 100%. Yeah. Like, just like, checking. No, yes, yeah. no, of course. So I didn't grow up with a lot of Jewish community around me. So I didn't do a lot of like the stuff if people grew up in LA or New York or something like that, they might've had access to. Where That's are you from again? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Western Massachusetts, Massachusetts, yeah. I didn't really have a religious upbringing at all. And then I did go to college um, at West 
Wesleyan, and that is in Connecticut, and it does have a larger Jewish population. So that's really where I did get to meet a lot of um, Jewish people and really start to experience Jewish culture. Who said they didn't do birthright? Was, did everybody oh, here I do haven't. birthright? I didn't, no. I didn't do it. Okay. I'm planning on doing summer. it this winter, though. Yeah. I just, okay. My schedule okay. is crazy. Yeah. yeah, I did it in college. That was like my, once I went to college, it was like much bigger Jewish community. So like I got to do stuff like that and like go to birthright, and it was awesome. I was most suspicious of Garrett because just some of his answers, they seemed like very quick and not very detailed. Have we all been Israel? Yeah, I was just about to ask. So what's our favorite part of Israel? I really loved, um, I think the Dead Sea was awesome. I think Israel is just gorgeous. And I was really afraid to go in the Mediterranean Sea because I did not want to get stung by a yeah. jellyfish. <laughs> so I was like, okay, sand. I'm a beach guy, so I love Tel Aviv and Dissing Golf Beach. What was your favorite part? Um, Masada, going up and like looking down over the Dead Sea and everything. What's everyone's favorite dish that their mom makes? My grandma's latkes, honestly, are like the okay. best thing ever. Your favorite food is latkes? <laughs> Have you ever food. had a? Of course, I've had latkes. No favorite food. That's okay, a problem. I don't know. Now I'm suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me some more about your conversion? I was just about yeah. to ask that too. I grew up like as a kid, like going to Hebrew school, having Jewish friends, doing Shabbat every week, doing the holidays. So it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm Jewish now. It's just like, okay. It's totally fine to convert, but just in the name of the game, I was like. Okay, if you converted, maybe you're not actually Jewish. Maybe someone you know converted. Do you feel really in touch with Jewish culture? So I have like a lot of Ashkenaz friends who don't buy German cars for that very mm -hmm. reason. Like, My grandparents will let me buy you're like, yeah. a bucket of German yeah. cars. Yeah, the Holocaust is probably one of the worst events in history. So I don't think for, for anyone to not connect with that, that would be a problem. But for me, I would say a lot of Jewish history I don't connect with just because it's not part of my history. Right. It doesn't mean I don't connect. To it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did you face any discrimination being Filipino and Jewish? All the time, absolutely. What about people like finding us like yeah, I mean, kind of discriminating in like a semi-positive way, but not really at all when like when they say like, we're, oh, can we're, you smell how much money I'm holding? Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. <but laughs> no, like, I, like I was in an Uber the other day, and so, and the guy was like, "Oh, you're Jewish. You're powerful. You've got power. You've got connections." And I was like, "I." Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're just you. <laughs>
I was on a dating app recently. There was a guy who sent me a photo of um, himself, bottoms on, but he was shirtless because he was like really buff and he like wanted to show it off. I didn't care. <laughs> and he had like a lot of tattoos and I was like looking at it and he had a giant swastika oh. right oh. here. And I messaged him back. I said, am I being pranked? <laughs> like, <look> crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I said, why do you have a swastika on your arm? He said, it's a Chinese peace symbol. And I said, oh honey, oh honey, no. Like, not yeah. anymore. No, 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 not anymore. <laughs> My first day at Calabasas High, there were swastikas all over the school. Oh, yeah. Freshman year. My sophomore year, this kid came up to me. He's like, I <laughs> hate Jews. Like, I am a full anti Semite. I hate you and your people. And I'm like, dude, I don't know you. Like, yeah. we're just in a class together. Why are you at this school if you hate Jews? Yeah. Go move somewhere else. And also, he know? doesn't even know you. I've been told, you know, you and your family should have died in the Holocaust. Uh, you and your people are evil. Um, you don't deserve a place here things like that, and it hurts, but at the end of the day, I feel also like it made me stronger. That yeah. reminds me, how do you guys feel about tattoos? Oh, I have a tattoo. I've got yeah. a few. Yeah. 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 I don't if, have any, I won't get any. I think Israelis love tattoos. Tel Aviv is the most tatted up place. Yeah, yeah. 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 True. Jerusalem likes to hate it. <laughs>know so much <laughs> I know so much you know so much <laughs> no you know so much okay <laughs> raise your hand if you're certain that the mold is still in the box and you would like to continue the game if the lights turn green the mold is more out if the lights turn green yes. yes. oh my god I'm feeling no. good those lights turn red oh. I just live with somebody who is Jewish and have been in the culture now for like yep, a yep, year and a half. Be a yeah. <laughs> we're fun, we're fun. Yes. Because he was sitting right next to me, he was really quiet, so I can tell when people were asking questions that he wasn't stepping in to answer them. Yeah, so as the mole, I came in actually taking stories from people who are Jewish um, and kind of co-opting them as my own because I ha do have a lot of Jewish friends, so I have experienced the culture through them. I'm just happy I made it past the first round. I was surprised that they voted Adam out real, really quick. It just shows that you can't tell who somebody is just by looking at them. You really have to get to know them a little, a little better. Hey. Oh, yeah. yes. I don't want to explain to the wait, stereotype. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm cool with it. Here, cool. We're going to be like in a strip club right now. Let's facts. go, let's go, let's go. Facts. Woo! <laughs> Got him. I'm a Jewish atheist, which if it came up, it might have been something that would have gotten me in trouble more so, but it's your culture, it's your everything. Uh, it's, it's a big identity and we need to hold on to it because if we don't, people will try to make us do it by force. Within the Jewish community, there's probably more stereotypes than outside of the Jewish community. By that I mean, there's a lot of judgment within some of the communities, whether you're more Jewish than someone or less Jewish than someone. You came from Israel, you came from Russia, you came from Germany, you came from the States. I don't make it the full thing, but it's very much a part of me and my values and the way I live my life. And you know, there are not that many Jews in the world. And so to be part of um, such a small, but very close group is actually really rewarding in a lot of ways. And um, I'm very happy with being Jewish and I love it. When did like everybody become a Democrat? Um, honestly, when I went to school, I grew up in a really small town in Nebraska. It was very white. We had Fox News on TV You're all the time. You're not helping your case. I know. <laughs> <laughs> not helping. I know my vote. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. One of them is a liar.